Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve or how to connect your PS4 or 5 controller to your Windows 11 computer if for some reason it's not working properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up a web browser. Type in DS4. Go ahead and hit enter. One of the best matches should say DS4 Windows by Jay's Two Kings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the Download Now button. And then you're going to go ahead and download the zip folder. I'm going to go click the little up arrow, Show in Folder. And I'm going to just drag it over to my desktop here. Double click on this folder now. And you want to select the Windows application. Just double click on it. And select Run. Select the Program folder. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And then at this point you want to go ahead and select the controllers tab and make sure your controller is turned on and it's also connected to Bluetooth. So you may have to hold down the PlayStation and the share button on your controller at the same time. So make sure that is turned on and you also want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your Windows computer too. So we search for Bluetooth. Best match is the Bluetooth and other device settings. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on here. So pretty straightforward. Again, make sure that's turned on and your device supports Bluetooth. It should pick it up right here. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. And one other thing too, if you're experiencing issues in games when you're using this app, you want to go to settings and hide the DS4 controller if you're having problems. If you see something flickering during the game, you may want to just uncheck this hide DS4 controller button. You may just want to check mark this hide DS4 controller button, and then you close out of here. And that's pretty much it. And you just would follow along with the on-screen prompts if you have to. But pretty straightforward, guys. You just would select finish, and that's about it. So pretty straightforward. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.